Good morning, good morning. This is Rita Reed, and you are tuning in to Purpose with Rita. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. I just wanted to come on this morning, and I'm coming from a different perspective this morning. Um, as you are aware, I am a life coach, and what I want to encourage you on today is that every coach also needs a coach, so I also need accountability a part, accountability partner. And as I am being coached and also listening to motivational speakers, that's what I do daily, um, they are encouraging me also to follow through with my dreams and my goals and to continue pressing forward in the things that God has put on my heart. So what I come to you with this morning is I want to take you on a transformational journey with me. So my way of encouraging you is showing you also what I am enduring and what I am going through, um, not only as, as I'm being motivated and inspired, but also as I'm going through a complete transformation. And I want you to jump on this transformation journey with me so that you can see that we're going to do this thing together because I am not exactly where I want to be. And I have people who are coaching me and who are holding me accountable to the things that I want to accomplish. And let's take this journey together. So one of the things that I want to share with you that I have been taught to do from my mentor and from my coach is to encourage myself daily. So I'm explaining to you what I'm doing so that also you can jump in. So what I was told to do is to look in the mirror every single morning. I'm doing this for 30 days. So this is day one of transformation. And as I try to encourage you, I also have to figure out what things I'm dealing with, um, motivate myself so that I am more apt to tell you what you need to do. Because I can't really be an example if I'm not speaking and living what I'm speaking, right? Okay, so look in the mirror every day and tell yourself, Imagine that you were your best friend talking to you. What would your best friend say to you if they were to say something like, Rita, I am proud of you for, and then you begin to tell yourself because you are your best friend, right? You, self is your best friend. Nobody's going to love you like you. Nobody's going to push you like you. So look in the mirror and tell yourself, Rita, I am proud of you because... And come up with seven different reasons why you are proud of yourself. After you do those seven things about why you are proud of yourself, then I want you to say, Rita, and of course you're putting your own name in there, right? Rita, I forgive you for, and you think about seven different things that you forgive yourself for. And this is personal. This is personal. It's cleansing. It's healing. Because you have to get over obstacles and things that you've probably never spoke to anyone about. Things that you've been holding in. And things that are probably hindering you from your walk. So you have to tell yourself, I'm proud of you for. And I forgive you for. Whatever those seven things is. Then the last one that I want you to do, and this, and all of these are having seven different endings, right? It's going to take you a little moment to get through all of them, but give yourself time every morning to say this. The last one is, Rita, I commit to, and think of seven different things that you are going to commit to yourself that you are going to do, and you're going to do this exercise for 30 days, 30 days, because with commitment, before you can make a commitment to anyone else, you have to make a commitment to yourself and you have to be accountable to keep those commitments. So, I'm proud of you for seven different endings. I forgive you for, you're going to have seven different endings. And then you're going to end with, I commit seven different endings. I'm not going to tell you what mine are because mine are personal just like yours are going to be personal. And I want you to write these things down. And then every day, if you think of seven different things that you forgive yourself for, I think, I think the forgiveness one is, is so, so important because we have so much guilt built up inside of us that we can't move forward because we're like, well, you know what? Sometimes we don't think that we deserve certain things because of things that we may have did in our past, things that we may have said, different things that may have taken place in our life. But 
you have to forgive yourself so that you can move forward. So this is a totally different um, type of encouragement video that I'm coming with. And I thought it was just uh, very eye-opening for me as I was being coached and what I was being told to do. And I thought like, wow, this is, this is profound because how can I move forward and try to cope someone else when I'm not recognizing what things I may have built up in me or things that I haven't committed to myself with, things I haven't forgiven myself for, and just things that I haven't celebrated. We talked about that the other day, celebrating those micro achievements, right? So you have to tell yourself the things that you are proud of so that you can feel good that you are moving forward, that you are accomplishing things. So again, look in the mirror for 30 days. Tell yourself, Rita, I am proud of you and think of seven different things. Rita, I forgive you for, think of seven different things. And then the last one is, Rita, I commit to seven different things because you have to make a commitment to yourself before you can make a commitment with others. You have to forgive yourself so that you can be cleansed and healed from different things that are hindering you before you can move forward in anything in life, especially if you're me and you're trying to help somebody else. You got to help you first, cleanse you. Okay, and the last thing is, again, we are not going to allow fear to stagnate us in the process. Fear is false evidence appearing real. Fear is a, some type of dream, some type of nightmare, really, that you've programmed in your mind that couldn't happen. And so you like, ooh, ooh, you fear of the unknown, fear of change. We're not going to do that today. So. Word of the day, or should I say statement of the day, is encouragement. Encourage yourself. We're going to do this transformation thing for 30 days. Follow me on my journey. Because when you think about when you're being motivated, you could be motivated by information that people give you. You can be motivated just by a motivational speaker. You can be inspired by an inspirational speaker, but there's nothing like being transformed by a transformational speaker. So today, we are going to take a 30-day challenge of encouraging ourselves so that we can, can get so that we can get complete transformation from within. When we transform from the inside out, we become a better person because we are letting things go that have been hindering us, fear, procrastination, and then also being proud of ourselves and celebrating those micro achievements that we thought didn't mean anything, that we thought, oh, that's just something, whatever, it's not even a big deal. But you have no idea that when you celebrate those micro achievements, that they mean something. Oh my God. And you'll feel so much better because you feel like you are accomplishing things and that you are moving forward in your goals, in your gifts, in your talents, in your dreams. So today, celebrate, 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 celebrate. Encourage yourself. Walk on that journey of encouragement. Walk on that journey so that you can gain peace. Forgive yourself for things that whatever has taken place in your life that you hold yourself responsible for. It's okay. Take responsibility for what you've done. But also, forgive yourself and say, you know what? We all make mistakes and everything is a teachable moment. Everything is a lesson to be learned. So whatever you've done in your past, take it as a lesson. It's not a failure unless you don't learn from it. Today, learn from that. Forgive yourself and let's move on. So, Transformation Thursday, the beginning of a 30-day challenge to encourage ourselves. Purpose with Rita, living a life of purpose on purpose. Let's make it do what it do, people. Like, subshare, subscribe, uh, share this video. Again, go to my webpage, RitaReed.org. Get some info, get some um daily devotions, get your spirit uplifting. Um, I am a woman of God, so I have to tell you, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added unto you. Your first thing should be to be thanking God if that's who you are. That's who I am. So my truth ain't your truth, but I am a woman of God and I am a believer. So I believe that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I pray that God's favor will be upon you today because I am walking in the spirit of expectations today. And I believe that great things are going to happen for me. Doors are going to be open for me and God is getting ready to bless me beyond what my mind can see, what my mind can even fathom. God's getting ready to blow my mind and I am open to receive all that he has for me and I hope you are too. So until next time, Purpose with Rita, peace.